Hello, as you know, my name is Kain Son, the Tech Pro, and today we continue with day four of our 30 days challenge in Hacker Rank. Today we are going to be talking about class versus instance. Now, again, as I used to say, please try to read all the content of the question carefully. Even if it's lengthy, please try to read it. I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you are joining me for the first time. So let's see what this problem is all about. In this challenge, we are going to learn about the difference between a class and an instance because it is an object-oriented concept that is only enabled in certain languages. Check out the tutorial tab for learning materials and instructional video. Actually, you don't have to worry about this. Okay, so the task is write a person class with an instance variable age and a constructor that takes an integer initial age as parameter. The constructor must assign initial age to the age after confirming the argument past an initial age is not negative. If a negative argument is passed as initial age, the constructor should set the age to zero and print age is not valid setting age to zero. In addition, you must write the following instance methods. Years passed should increase the age instance variable by one. Am I old should perform the following conditional actions. If age is less than 13, print your young. If age is greater than or equal to 13 and age is less than 18, print you are a teenager, otherwise print you are old. To help you learn by example and complete this challenge, much of the code provided is provided for you, but you will be writing everything in the future. The code that creates each instance of your present class in the main methods is in the main method. Don't worry if you don't understand it all quite yet. Okay, let's see how it plays out. I think the easiest thing to do about this is to simply go and write it. The reason is because they've already provided uh, most part of the code for you. All right, so now there's something about Python. If you are coming from Java, normally if you want to create uh, a property in a class, you can now declare it and initialize it. For instance, age is equal to zero. But in this case, you don't get to do this in Python. I'm going to show you how to actually, actually achieve that. Now, the first thing we want to do is so the, the first write a person class, okay? So the age with an instant variable age. So how do we specify instant, this instant variable and also a constructor that takes integer initial age as parameter? The constructor should assign initial age to age. So basically, the constructor, of course, in Python, the constructor has the special name underscore underscore init right here, and we have a parameter initial age. Now, to assign this initial age, we, have, we need to say self dot age is equal to initial age. So in this case, it is assigned. Now, before we do this assignment, we need to check that age is not negative. So let's do that check. Or well, let's say if initial age, the age that is passed in, is less than one, then of course we are going to um, set it to zero. We're going to set uh, the age to zero. So I'm going to say uh, self.age is equal to zero. So you can see that this age variable uh, is an instant variable, but we never declare it or initialize it in any way. All right, so if age is less than one, then we have to set it, set our uh, self of age to zero and then print out the message. So normally you can just copy exactly what we have here in the question because that seems to be um, the, the way you can avoid any kind of error that may occur. So copy it all the way to the full stop and I'm going to right click and click on copy and go down right here and just paste it in here. Okay, so this is fine. Now I'm going to say else, I'm going to shift back and say else. Now, in the else part of it, everything worked. I'm not going to assign the age to initial age. So this is fine. So this is exactly the first thing. This is what they want us to do. All right, let's now go to the second one. Normally, I like doing the easy one first, but this is fine. 
So let's see. Let me work on this. Am I old? So am I old is going to check first if the age is less than 13. So I'm going to say cell of age. That's the same instant variable of age is less than 13. Less than 13. And I'm going to print out just like they say you are young full stop if you don't put the full stop then it's not going to work so we can go off and see if age is less than 13 you're young else else if it's less than 18 so in this case now if age is so if i put an else what it means is that the age is greater than or equal to 13 but now I'm going to check if age is less than 18. I'm going to say self of age is less than 18. And I'm going to print um, no seconds. Uh, I think I can just, okay. Um, else if, so it's elif. Okay. All right. So elif self of age uh, is less than 18. Sorry, I'm gonna just put this in the same line for clarity. Uh, this should be fine. I'm going to print you are a teenager here. And finally, age is greater than 18. So it's gonna be else, everything else. So I'm gonna just say else, I'm gonna print. You are old. Okay, perfect. Now the next function we are going to work on is years pass. Year pass or year passes. So year passes is expected to let's see what it does, increase the age by one. So the instant variable you can grab it using the self keyword. So I'm gonna say self dot age uh is it all the cells of h plus one i can just say plus equals uh one so that is the same thing all right i think we've captured almost everything they want us to do here so let's just try to see if it works so i'm going to run this code now let's see and it says person object has no attribute here yeah, passes everything. Oh, yeah. So this indentation here, I'm gonna just shift it back in place and shift this one back in place, and it should be just fine. So let's see. And I think it passes the first case here. You can see, and I'm going to submit it. Let's see how it works. And everything worked. I think we did so well here. And I'd like to thank you for viewing the next challenge. Please, we are going to work on it together as well. So please remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And we we'll see you in the next challenge. Remember, I'm Kaimson the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.